I got this comment on a recent video. Could you make a video with tips on learning JavaScript or getting better at it? I'm familiar with the basics and concepts, but I find JavaScript more challenging compared to HTML and CSS. For example, writing code without looking at an example. Also, I'd love some advice on how to work with JavaScript, like what you do when you can't remember how to do something, which is normal since using Google is part of the job. Where do you like to look for solutions? I personally use resources like MDN and W3Schools. So this is such a good question, but before I dive in, I'm not going to bury the lead. The answer is practice and repetition. JavaScript is a language and to learn a new language, you need to use it. But first, let's break down this question a little bit more. First, I also find JavaScript a lot more challenging than HTML and CSS. This is exactly why I started live streaming and forcing myself to practice more. I mean, I use JavaScript most days at my job and it's still probably always going to be the thing I need the most help with. So you are not alone there at all. Next, I personally don't think you should worry about needing to look at examples, although I totally understand the frustration of not remembering something. This is why I take really good notes and I version control almost everything that I do so I don't have to remember everything. Because even when I do something so well, I can do it from memory. If I don't do it again for six months or a year, I forget and I have to go look it up, which is why having everything either in a note or in version control is really, really helpful. I think MDN and W3Schools are both really great resources. I also personally love Learn JavaScript, which I'll link in the description. This is one of the best JavaScript tutorials I've ever worked on, and it's structured in a way that makes you solve real problems over and over again. So, you know, repetition. Again, the best thing you can do to build your skills is practice and repetition. Think of all the user interface elements that require JavaScript, things like tabs, accordions, sliders, navigation. Those are all things that are done with JavaScript. And I promise you that if you practice building these things, you'll get much more comfortable and confident. You know what else you can do? Subscribe to my channel and hit the like button so I can keep answering your questions and help you build confidence as developers. It helps me out and I really appreciate your support. So thank you. Okay, so let me show you how I use a JavaScript for each loop and the window location object to create something called you are here navigation. For loops and JavaScript API objects are two very common and very powerful things you can use to manipulate the DOM. So let's say we have this navigation of five links for five pages, home, about, portfolio, blog, and contact. When I hover over the links, they're styled with CSS to have an underline. I also want an active class added to the link that belongs to the page I'm viewing. So if I'm on the home page, the home page link also has an active class that keeps the underline on the link. We call this you are here navigation. Here's, here's the trick. Here's the thing that I think will really help. Before you start, I want you to write something called pseudocode. Pseudocode is plain language, what it is that I want to do. So in this case, here's my pseudocode. For each navigation link, if the link is the same link in the browser, add the active class to the link. Get into the habit of writing pseudocode before you start writing actual code. This is how you learn to strategize the type of code that you're going to write. Get into the habit of not worrying about the exact syntax because you can Google it, you can look at the documentation, you can ask ChatGPT for help. The real trick is not even really a trick. It's all about being strategic in your approach to solving the problem. So let's go ahead and solve this problem now that we have our pseudocode. Here's my markup. So we've got home, about.html, portfolio.html, blog.html, contact.html, and then I use a slash to represent home.html. Since our pseudocode starts with a for each, 
we know that we need an array in order to do a for each loop through an array of links. So let's start with const links equals document. We'll use query selector all and we're going to look for anything called nav link. And all of our navigation has a class of nav link. Next, we're going to define something called path name, which is window dot location dot path name. And here's how I know that. So if we're in the browser and we're on the blog page, you can see here in the URL, it's blog.html. We'll check the window.location in the console, and we see all of this information available from the JavaScript API. And we can see here that the page is slash blog.html. And you can see here that our href is blog.html. So once we finish writing this JavaScript, this should automatically add the active class to this link, which styles our, our, our underline. So we'll say links dot for each link, and we'll do an arrow function. And we'll say if, the link dot path name equals the path name link dot class list dot add active. And we can see here that now we have an active class. And we can also check we can also check here that there is another active class. So if we go to portfolio, now we can see that that's been added to portfolio and blog and so forth. And if we go back to the home page, now our home is also active. So once you get into the habit of writing pseudocode, that should help you start to strategize and come up with a plan for how you want to write your JavaScript. And what I've written here is by no means exhaustive. It's a start. It's a very basic example of writing you are here navigation, but it's a really good start to get you into the habit of strategizing. So let's recap what we just did here. Creating an array using the JavaScript API, looping through an array, using a conditional if statement to see if something matches, then adding a class to the correct element. I mean, this is a basic example, but also a really common application of JavaScript. And when you practice regularly and apply even basic techniques, you'll start to remember what you need to do. So keep writing pseudocode. Write what you need to do with JavaScript in plain language. If you can describe the problem you're solving, you can find the JavaScript you need to solve that problem. This is why I don't think you should worry too much about remembering syntax. Those things definitely come with experience. And if you're using something like VS Code, IntelliSense is pretty good at helping you. What's most important is that you understand the problem you're solving and coming up with the best approach to solve that problem. You can do it. I believe in you.